Rahmatullah. Actually, the question was asked with reference to uh, incidence of stroke or visual blindness uh, in prone position. So, I will just try to have few words about it. Uh, in prone position, whenever they are doing surgery in prone position, a number of times the surgeries, they are also requiring hypotensive anesthesia, okay? And uh, if you are having uh, this um, uh, spine surgery or they are doing uh, this uh, scoliosis surgery, a number of time they are not only doing hypotensive anesthesia, they are, there is a new trend of using transdynamic acid infusion, okay? So all these uh, things are predisposed. Then another cherry on the cake is that if the patient already have some retinopathy okay or the patient already have some uh, cerebrovascular disease and you are giving hypotensive anesthesia and with reference to eye transient blindness the patient already had some retinopathy and the patient already have some ischemic uh, optic neuropathy because of uh, other reasons uh, and then now this will aggravate okay so hypotensive anesthesia, uh, transdynamic acid because usually there are microemboli which are being cleared by the our anti uh, our fibrinolytic system. This antifibrinolytic will stop it. So microfib uh, thrombi can block the tiny, teeny uh, retinal vessels and can it can cause transient or permanent blindness postoperatively. Okay, this is with reference to eye. Uh, and of course, if uh, the, pa the patient is diabetic or hypertensive with very bad retinopathy, this will be another risk factor, okay? With reference to stroke, so the stroke um, is, is actually in prone position or in any other position. If you have a hypotensive anesthesia and you don't know what is the cerebral activity, so you have to monitor the electrophysiology with reference to not only BIS, but it will only tell the, the, the global ischemia, okay? So the ideal is, is EEG, but, uh, but still there are some new uh, devices uh, uh, with reference to cerebral oximetry and they are telling um, uh, one of them is I think O3 and then another, I don't forgot, I just forgot, slip out of my mind, another uh, name of another uh, 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 monitoring equipment, okay. So you should be monitoring the focal ischemia okay global ischemia is yes but focal ischemia is the one which can uh, tell you um, more problems because you don't you are not sure how circle of circle of illness is there uh, working or not so any patient with any risk factors or any patient with, with we don't have any history of cerebral vascular accident but the patient has ischemic heart disease or patient has peripheral vascular disease so be be ready so it is always advisable to take the baseline reading and tell the surgeon we cannot go beyond below that reading okay because if it is it will be like that this 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 is a risk factor for development of a stroke or tia or anything like that okay so uh, this is all about this question with reference to prone positioning stroke and um, uh, visual disturbances okay thank you very much